Hello and welcome back to Sunrider. I am still RMP792 and this is the Mask of Arcadius. Or is it Arcturus? I can't remember. I said one in the review with the pre in the previous Let's Review and it was wrong. But that's just because I'm an idiot and I can't remember things. So, I am currently recording this on the Thursday that this has come out. I've also just had to download a hot patch, so this might be a little bit buggy. I'm not guaranteeing that this is going to be bug free, people. Right, so, what I did was I replayed the campaign. Not the whole campaign, I actually only re. Well, this save game that you're about to see is not the one that I used originally. I replayed the whole game, went through it, changed what upgrades I had, but I made sure to make all the same decisions. So, story wise, there won't be any difference and I've altered how I've upgraded the Sunrider, so it's now focused primarily on kinetic weaponry because I found that to be significantly more effective than the laser weaponry I used on my first run through. So I'm about to drop into this save game which is taken immediately after that last hangar scene you saw, so you haven't missed anything story-wise. Incidentally, this particular game, so the Mask of Arcturus or Arcadius, the Mask of Arcadius, that's definitely it, Yes, the Mask of Arcadius update. If you go to their website, you can pull down a co a content de-censoring patch, which I have done, which may well mean that there could well be some slightly not safe for work type content slightly later on. So be aware of that if it offends you going in. Sorry if you can hear my chair creaking in the background. Right, so let us begin. Question is, can I use? Can I remember? any of the voices I use. <clears throat> Begin first commander's log. It's been months since we've been marooned on this godforsaken place. <sighs> day by day, the crew's discipline begins to decay. I feel the chain of command dissolving with each day. I could see it in the eyes of the crew. The chances of a rescue are remote. Some of the rowdiest of our crew have even suggested starting a settlement. Here! <sighs> so far from the raiment of civilization. I fear it's only a matter of time, until we lose all control over the crew and have a mutiny on our hands. Until then, I, First Officer Ava Crescentia, will do my best to maintain order. Even if... Hey Ava, what you doing over here? Uh huh. I think it's still Commander Cres... Ah! Nope, I remember the voice I used for Chigara, dammit. <clears throat> oh. Uh. It's still Commander Crescentia of Asaga. There we go. Eh? But the captain said no ranks when we're on vacation. No, no. <laughs> oh my. It seems like they've gotten bigger again. <laughs> oh, my bikini strap's gonna burst at this rate. Ah, oh, put those away. Oh my. Are you scared of my, uh, rockets? <laughs> Maybe if you just attach some more armor to your rider, you wouldn't have to live in constant fear of rockets. Ch what did you just say? I'm so sorry. I wouldn't want to make myself so huge that I'd mistakenly mated with a space whale. And I haven't even begun to talk about that monstrosity of a rider you have. <laughs> what? You! <laughs> What's the matter? Lost your cool, soldier boy. Permission to engage, Commander. E? <laughs> Mastery scum! Ah, too slow, as usual. Oh, my Chigara. You've still got so much to catch up to until you can do. Oh, my Chigara. You've still got so much catching up to do until you can compete with me. Uh, well, the, the captain's not interested in those things. Well, the, the captain's. Not interested in those things. The captain's not interested in those things. Huh? Hey, Ava, is a tree made out with the captain while you're in junior high? <laughs> Armor! Speed! Armor! Speed! <laughs> I think they're driving Ava up the bloody wall. Ah! 
fatality. <laughs> well, I think we needed that holiday. Captain, I must protest the decision to grant the crew extended short leave during these pressing times. Ava. After that battle at Farport, I think everyone deserve. After that battle at Farport, I think everyone deserves a rest. Besides, the main packed fleet has been dealt a decisive blow. The debris of packed capital ships in orbit around Farport, the remainder of the wall will be fought in the neutral ring, not alliance space. We put Pact on the defensive and saved a few billion lives in the process. I think that calls for a bit of celebrating, don't you? Those results are only possible through constant vigilance, Captain. We cannot afford to let our guard down merely because we won the first battle of the war. Pact's fleets are still vast and mighty. Cullen was a fool. Arcadius isn't. Pact will be back. Ava. Out of all the people on the ship, you need a break the most. When was the last time you did something fun? Fun? Yes. Fun. Uh... D uh... Uh... But the paperwork... Can wait. Buy yourself a swimsuit, get some drinks, make some mistakes. That's an order. Absolutely unbelievable. Wow, the artist had a lot of fun on this one, didn't they? Must be a strange to be on a mixed sex ship. Eh? What do you mean? Well, in the Alliance, all ships are single sex. So I came from a ship where my subordinates and superior officers were all female. Eh? I never knew the Alliance did. <coughs> Damn it! Get the voices right, idiot. Eh? I never knew the Alliance did things that way. Such measures were adopted to enforce discipline. And does it? <laughs> Anyways, I can't believe all this stuff's on one station. Oh, the Lydia's one of the biggest resort stations in Alliance space. With over a hundred acres of beach and forest, it's the ideal place for a vacation. Just another one of the Alliance's cutting edge technologies. <laughs> huh. The command has been gone a long time. You suppose she finally cracked? <laughs> Maybe she's hiding inside a cove somewhere, pretending to give orders to a bunch of hermit crabs. Em, We're back with some more food! <coughs> Who's that babe with you, Captain? Uh, deeper down the rankings, Jigara goes. Attention all hands! It has come to my attention that the captain wishes to see us rested for the battles to come. While it is my desire to run a tight ship, sometimes expectations must be made for the good of the crew. So let's crack open this bottle already and get this over with. Woohoo! Well, that took care of the food. Now who should I talk with? Ooh! Ikari and Kriska actually seem to get along quite well. I think almost killing each other was quite good for them. Now, am I going to get to talk to everybody, or am I only going to get to talk to one or two of them? That's the question. I'd start with who do I like most out of the crew? The saga's fun. Chigoro's interesting. I respect Ava. Ikari and Kriska are... Well, they're both crazy, but I think they're the right kinds of crazy for each other. Solar... Solar's very withdrawn, which I think is a result of having lost everything. And Claude is, um... Well, Claude's horny, let's be honest about this. But, uh... Let's start with Ava. Captain, I see you've made use of our booze. How's it taste? crew's been calling these vanguard shots. Can melt through the armor of a cruiser, they say. Cruiser, eh? Well, let me jo be the judge of that. Ava poured Shields a shot, and he swigged it down. As powerful as advertised? Normally I'd say it tastes like the Sunrider's coolant. Being on a beach makes everything better. Hmm. We shouldn't be here. We should be out there, fighting the war. Having a well-rested crew will make, will make us much more useful to the war effort than patrolling Alliance space for a few extra days. 
you've grown since those days. You became a leader. Well, I learned from the best. No. I'm afraid I was never cut out to be captain. I haven't changed as much as you have. You remember those days. All the members of the student council left me one by one. On day one, we had over a dozen members. But week by week, people disappeared. People who were enthusiastic and had ideas when they first joined. I never had much capacity to inspire others, I'm afraid. I stayed. Yes. Yes, you did. Ava poured another shot and killed it. She's a tough woman. Who's that girl you used to have a crush on back in those days? Huh? She was the only thing you talked about in our second year. Uh, I have no idea to whom you could be referring. Alice? Was she, or, or Hannah? The, the one with the golden hair. Oh! <laughs> Hannah. Right. Hannah. How'd that end up after I left? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> the girl who broke the mighty Captain Shield's heart. The man who dropped a big old packed Venisar like it was easy. Now you've flustered over an adolescent romance. I'm almost ashamed to look at you. Shield's down to shot. You always did have a weak spot for cute little things. And I'm not just referring to the puppies you've set as your desktop background. I really like the idea of a captain of a battle cruiser having some puppies as his background. That's adorable. <clears throat> well, go chat with the rest of the girls. I'm going to the bathroom. Now who should I talk with? Ah, so I think I will probably get to talk to everybody. That's good. Let's... Okay, Sola's been a bit lonely, so let's go talk to her. Captain? Sola sat next to an impressively high sandcastle. Wow! I never knew you had such talent, Sola. You give me too much credit. My hands are maybe steadier than most. What are you making? The Imperial Palace at Farport. Imperial Palace, huh? I remember seeing some hollows of the ruins on the tourist brochures. During my time, Farport was a bustling trade world. It was there that I was born. You weren't born in Ruvia Prime? No. I rarely spent time at the palace, but I still remember it vividly. I don't remember the ruins having this keep, though. Perhaps. Nostalgia has embellished some of the details. I remember being swept away with wonder upon seeing the palace for the first time. It was a feeling which I will remember for the rest of my life. You're not actually a princess of Ruby, or are you? Huh? When we first met, the tabula glowed for a saga, not you. It is as you say. Then who are you really? Ah. Uh. <laughs> what? You ask such silly questions, Captain. I am Sola. The galaxy of mine was a different place. A sad place. Here, try this. Hmm? It's a sesame ball. Popular food on Sierra. A sesame ball? It's crunchy on the outside and chewy on the inside. It also has a red bean paste in the centre. Speaking as a guy who doesn't like sesame seeds much, that sounds horrible. The merchants often carried exotic food to the bazaar, and yet I've never heard of this sesame ball. Perhaps I could give it a try. Good, huh? Sola took another bite out of the sesame ball. Hmm. You should join us at the mess hall more often. Don't eat in the corner by yourself anymore. You're part of the team now, Sola. Doesn't matter who you are or what timeline you're from. You are... kind. I must go back to my castle. Have fun. Mm. Now, who should I talk with? I'm curious to see what the two lunatics are up to. Chew! Yeah, 
I don't care if it's a mook or a carrier, it still counts it still only counts as one. What's going on here? Oh Oh nothing. The soldier boy and I were just comparing our kill counts for the last battle. Turns out she only took down a measly six kills. <laughs> Except three of those ships were carriers containing over a hundred riders. So if you count all the riders which were destroyed inside the ships, I got over three hundred. Heh. <laughs> so now you've taken to wrecking poor defenseless riders sleeping inside their motherships, huh? If you hadn't been hiding behind my shield, my shield half the battle, you would have ended up as red as the Fenisar's privy. What? I was not hiding behind. I'll never accept you. And you'll always be a danger to yourself and the crew. Just don't get pushed out in the airlock after selling us out to the Admiral again. The Admiral is an honourable man and a hero of the Alliance. He would never do anything unless it was for the good of humanity. Oh, that card. Yeah. The it was necessary card. <laughs> Honourable. Right. Hold your tongue. I will not allow you to impugn the dignity of the Alliance. A gun for hire like you would never understand the meaning of honour. <laughs> I understand the power of the green back, and that's the only thing that matters. Ladies. You both did very well during the battle. There's no need to fight. Grr! I can't tell whether they like or hate each other. I should go help Ava out with the food now. Ah, so I only got to talk to about three of them. Okay, fair enough. Shields arranged the meat on the grill, while Ava skewered vegetables on wooden rods. You know, doing this makes me feel almost at home. I can imagine doing this at the beach on Sierra. I remember when Maori went... Maori? Maori? Hmm. I remember when Maure was still young, and the whole family would go to the beach together. We should have gone to the beach one last time before I left. <laughs> Don't know why I didn't think of it. Captain, please do not get overly sentimental. I do not wish to have blame for the onions if you are seen by the crew crying. So what made you change your mind? Captain? It's a rare sight to see more than an arm's length from a stack of documents, much less dressed up like that. I fulfill your orders to the letter. That's the only reason. Perhaps a little break every now and then isn't so bad. I don't remember ever going to the beach with family. I'm afraid such frivolities are lost in mine. Not even once? I don't recall. We went together one summer when you were 16. Oh, please. Like I had time for that when I was 16. Even back then, you brought paperwork with you and you tried to do it on the beach. Not that you were successful. You're making this up. Actually, it was a student council team building trip. I remember only because I was the one who organised it. There was this one chick in the team who just wouldn't shut up. She'd be texting with one hand without even looking at the screen and yapping about something totally different at the same time. Never figured out how she did that. Reminds me of a certain someone. There was another girl who s there was another girl who, who seriously must have worn the same hair ribbon every day. I swear, couldn't she at least change the colour? Every day, the same damned red ribbon. I wonder how she even washed it. I remember she had to sit I remember I had to sit behind her for a month and I couldn't see anything except for the red ribbon. Ugh, Kasumi. One of your crushes. You must have liked staring at that red ribbon all day instead of learning galactic history. You remember her? How she'd always start spinning her hair in her fingers whenever she was nervous? Oh, only you would remember a detail like that, Captain. It really takes me back, though. Ava dropped the vegetables and went over to Shield's side. What's wrong? The onions are strong. I should never put my hands to my face. What? How strong could they be? Shields went over and picked up an onion. Oh, damn! <laughs> Shields groaned and backed away. I'm suddenly getting flashbacks to when they shot us up with nervous gas during the training. Permission to be excused. Uh, granted, they gave me a pack of ice for my eyes while you're at it. A saga let the sea breeze waft through her hair. Uh -huh. They can even simulate the wind! She caught a glimpse of shields and turned her head. As if caught in a trance, Saga gazed at him. Her lips parted, and she felt her face weaken. Captain. 
Chikara! Oh! Eh, uh, Claude? <clears throat> I can't keep her voice straight, I'm so sorry. Guess what? What? This is your perfect opportunity to tell the captain how you feel about him. Oh, Claude, that's supposed to be a secret. I think she's got slightly more Scottish, I apologise. <clears throat> Who knows? Maybe this hot weather is getting to him and he'll want to uh, blow off some steam with you. No, no, no way. I'm not going to... Oh, really? But I guess it's alright if I take him over myself then. D no! <laughs> you better make your move quickly then. <sighs> Seriously, you two are acting like two junior high girls. It's not a big deal, just tell him how you feel, Chigara. And then what? What, what? what if he doesn't like me? It's not the end of the world. Then you just move on. But, but I'm not sure if I could. You are so hopeless. Hey, hero girl. Help me talk some sense to your friend over here. M me? Yes, you. Tell her that keeping her feelings to herself won't accomplish an iota of good. You've already been through hell and back, Chigara. Come on, compared to what we've already been through, what's there to be scared about? And who knows? Tomorrow, one stray quantum torpedo can end it all, and the captain would never know that there was a girl named Chigara who liked him. Are you gonna let that happen? Uh, 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 I hate shit like this. Come on, hero, give me some backup. Uh. Yeah, Chigara, you can do this. Remember how you were always repairing me when I got busted up in battle? You saved my hide more than I can count. Uh, basically, what I'm saying is that you're my friend, the, the best one I've ever had. You could do this, Chigara. I believe in you. Remember, I can always snatch the captain away. You know, I've already touched his thing. <laughs> And I must say, it was quite impressive. God, breathe. <laughs> Good going, you idiot! You broke Chigara. Oh, now we need to put her back together. The saga splashed some water on Chigara's head. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna do it. You're gonna give the captain a. <laughs> Claude was cut off through swift application of Akari's kick. <sighs> Alright, we'll just have to lure the commander away from him. Boob Rockets, you're with me. We're gonna plan our diversionary tactics together. After it's done, we'll all go celebrate to the nearest Stardust. <laughs> Akari marched away with Claude in tow. Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Shields picked up a piece of meat from the grill and placed it on Chikara's plate. Uh, yep, healthy piece for our chief. Goodbye. What's gone into her? Hikari gave Shields a loud slap on the back, a bottle of beer in her other hand. Yo, Captain. <laughs> you ain't so bad after all. You know, when I first joined the ship, I had my dad's. But you got us through that foobar at far port, all right. Never figured you'd be the type to order a frontal assault with only 200 ships against five packed fleets. <laughs> Would have loved to see the face of old pigman's face when we finally roasted him. My apologies, Captain. It appears our mercenary is quite intoxicated. Shut up. Ikari took another swig of the bottle. Don't be so stiff, soldier boy. We're all privateers here. All right, all right, that's that's enough, ladies. Shields filled the car's plate with meat. There you go. Captain, we seem to be missing someone. I figured as much. Here, take the grill. Sure. Solar? Yup. I thought I'd find you here. The stars give me peace. I much prefer the sound of the waves to the clamor of loud gatherings. Shields gave a plate of food to Sola. You must be hungry. Sola grabbed the fork and took a bite of the cooked onion. 
Suddenly, a shooting star sailed through the night sky. Ah. Even if it is nothing more than a holographic illusion, the skies remind me of home at Farport. Shields took a seat on the rocks next to Solar. Home, huh? Tell me about home. I was not always a princess. For most of my life I was merely a lowly peasant, hardly worth more than the livestock we raised. Home was a small wooden cottage. The winters were too cold and the summers were too hot. We survived on what we grew in the garden and the game I caught in the forest. An odd beginning for the Princess of Rubia. My mother was a commoner who my father had taken to fancying while he was a prince. She was taken by dreams of living in the palace, of being taken care of. None of those dreams came to pass. We were abandoned and forgotten. Must have been difficult for your mother. She wasted away, waiting for him to return. It was foolish. For her, it must have meant the world. Do you recall how I told you of the death of the Emperor and his heir? She said the Emperor and his heir were assassinated, having been a war for succession between your father, the second prince, and Crow Harbor, his stepbrother. Indeed, but I have suspicions the one who assassinated the Emperor and, my, and the first prince was my own father. The Peruvian court of my era was a snake pit. Betrayals, assassinations, machinations, they were all part of the palace culture. Instead of becoming emperor though, your father's assassination plot triggered a war of succession with his stepbrother. Yes. The civil war raged for many years, until the empire was on the verge of collapse. It became clear drastic measures had to be taken. The Shalak had to be awakened. But the true Princess of Ruvia was a stranger to hardship. She was, she was too selfish to sacrifice her life for the Empire. Yes, so she used her connections to find me. The King's men seized me three years after my mother's passing. I knew nothing of royal succession or palace intrigue, yet I found myself in the midst of my father's dangerous game. I was taken from my home and pressed into service. So your father essentially abandoned you and then kidnapped you when he needed you to save his own hide. At first, I was angry, but... I realized the task before me was too great to be abandoned. The future of the Empire was in my hands. I chose to wield the Sherlock to defend my homeland. You must have been terrified. You did a brave thing. It is strange. For the first time in my life, I was... Happy. Even though I knew what awaited me at the end of my mission, the people called me the Princess of Ruvia. I remember after each victory, marching through the Arch of Destiny on Ruvia Prime and being held as the Shah by the people. The knowledge that, that, that I, a simple country girl, would die a hero of the Ruvian people, it filled me with such unspeakable pride. Shields put his hands on her shoulder. The problem is, you know, I, I follow the old Halo mantra, never make a girl a promise if you know you can't keep it. And going into battle, there are times when you might have to take a bullet for someone. Which is why I'm, go I'm not going to lie to her. I can't keep that promise. It takes great courage to die for your people. Of course I was terrified. But when the women walk up to you and tell them how they pray for you, and the children follow you just to line your steps with fresh flowers. And I really have no choice, do I? Unexpectedly, they heard Asaga's voice, and the rest of the team tailed behind her. Oh, there they are. Come over here, Captain, we have more food. Shields gets over his hand. Well, shall we go? Hmm. Sola took Shields' hand and pulled herself up. Captain? Yeah? I do not know why I was brought to this timeline and for what purpose I will find here. Yet I know it was not a travesty, but a fortune. It is still premature to tell the sorrows of the past to truly behind me, but you have my appreciation. Not as a princess, but as a common girl. My pleasure. 
<laughs> I sense another formidable rival has appeared. Huh? What did I miss? Seriously, I have no idea what you all see in him. Absolutely unbelievable. That, to me, seems like a pretty decent point, because looking at my timer, I've slightly overrun. So I will say thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next part.